no, it's not. Well, what's the issue? You know, and get really, really deep in that aspect as well. And you can almost back up and say, not just case acceptance, but are they actually converting to patients? You know, are those phone calls getting answered yeah, yeah, and getting yeah. answered well? And is that leading to opportunities? You know, as we've kind of got to know some folks in the space, we're seeing that there are really cool tools, AI tools out there that can help you monitor yeah. how your front desk is doing. You know, I, I think we've heard that there's so much, I think Gary Bird or somebody calls it like the black hole marketing where yeah. opportunities come and they just get lost. Yeah. And I think in this economy, that can't be the case. I mean, there has to be some investment there to make sure it goes from a marketing lead to an at-bat front desk that converts to a patient. And then, right, like what you're saying, then you work on, are we actually generating good revenue from these these new patients? That as We all know. I mean, that's a source, a great source of new revenue, yeah. is new patients who haven't been in the dentist in a while. Yeah. I mean, it's it, I haven't gotten granular on this before, really, but let's just say on phone conversions, you were able to convert an additional two patients a day let's say, right? Another two patients a day. Let's say you don't have really good systems up front. The person up front answering the calls is just not personal. It's just, you know, not converting those to anywhere. But if you got two more a day per week times four, eight a week times four is 32. Yeah. That's 32 more patients a week just by making some tweaks. 